Right, here's the bit we need to deal with. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you the difference in physical size between the supposed three kilowatt and the one kilowatt. You can see that actually fits inside there. So the magnets on this one are obviously a lot bigger. But yeah, there's the size difference. Across, they're exactly the same, but the width. Uh, you can see this one is a rear wheel motor, uh, which is a shame because for this purpose, it would be better to have a front wheel motor because this extra bit we can't use all of this because a gear cassette would go on there and we don't have that on the one kilowatt motor which is a front wheel uh, the gears on this side which needs to come off and go on there and also we need to mount this one facing the opposite way uh, this end is fine but this end i can't find a rubber washer to fit exactly right in here so we're going to have to put the gear at the back. So this is fa this will be facing, this motor will be slightly down like that. So this side will be poking up and then no drips can get round in here. So first job is to try and get rid of all this welding, which there's loads of, so that should be fun. Right, so that's a good time to show you just how the motor's mounted. This bends this way a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. This, this is the bit that I need to improve. And I've got the brackets for the hoverboard motors, but you'll notice this sits in vertically and the motor brackets for the hoverboard would have to go in sideways or I'd have to cut a wider bit in the channel to fit them, this in sideways. I don't know if you know what I'm getting at. Just trying to think what's the best way to do it. Yeah, I'll have a think about that. I'm gonna go around and collect some brackets. It might be a better idea to set, set up the brackets and get the motor in firmly before I then make the weld, uh, obviously, in here and in there and we get it as straight as possible there you can basically see it, it turns fine give me the juice baby i'm just going to put the one kilowatt motor in because now be a good time to see the difference in how easy they turn i don't know if you remember i did a did a sterling job on replacing the bearings in this thing because it got rusty because of that leaky bit which is why we're having to mount it the other way around let me go get that so there's virtually no difference that scraping on the wood a little bit for some reason but there's very little difference in between how hard this is to turn and how hard that one is you will notice on this side I, I had to hack away this bit here so that the wires wouldn't get caught i'm just going to put the other motor back in to show you i think we're going to have to go for it like this at the front all the way forward it seems to be poking up that way a little bit it's lower down on this side I don't know if that was because of all the fanning about I did with it but it's definitely an angle so that needs to be higher up this is the first idea using one of these hoverboard blocks which actually seems to have leveled it up perfectly 
So we can use that. The problem with that is, if you look through there, that's going to be a bit of a bitch because it's got half a hole. What I may try doing is welding this thing to here and then using the grinder to flip it over and cut this off. Will this weld, my friends? It's not looking good, is it? I know for a fact these all weld. I'm going to go and have a think about what's best and then we'll crack on. I've decided before I put the uh, gear hub on, I'm just going to spray a load of this inside through the little crack there. I cut that one a bit too short, so I'll have to find another nut for that, but that's pretty much done. We'll try and get it mounted in here and see if it, it's looking good. So right, that's it for this part. In the next part, I need to weld the bits of the fr this frame thing together and decide exactly what I'm doing with this. But it's going to look something like that. I'm quite happy if I can weld these plates on here and get it all perfect. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.